Here's the Reverend Tim Christopher, who does the work of the Lord in Minneapolis. Uh, Tim, how are you? I'm doing good, Joe. How are you doing today? Well, not so good, Tim. Uh, uh, we got a reparations uh, committee developing in St. Paul that wants to uh, correct and repair all historical inequities, and I'm of the mind that I think that would be very difficult to do, and I just wanted your take on it. You know, I've, I've always said when we were talking about reparations and things of that sort, I mean, if they were going to give us reparations, they would have done it when Obama had the House, the Senate, and the pres presidency. Mm -hmm. Look, we can run around here all we want talking about reparations and things of that sort. Don't worry about that. They think just because Joe Biden and the Democrats have the House, has the House, the Senate, and the presidency, that they're going to give that up. They, they, they're actually going to give black people something. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see what happens after four years when we're running around again, wanting to, you know, tear the streets up because the Democrats haven't done anything for us. But as far as the reparation thing, Joe, Joe I, I wouldn't even worry about that because it, it's not going to happen. I mean, where is the money going to come from, number one? Number two, how, how do you pick out who is uh, African-American descendants of slaves, true slaves, not people of color, who the Democrats decide to throw in with the black people so they can put us all in the pot at the same time. So everybody gets to, to, to feel like that they should deserve something that uh, that my ancestors bled for. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, I so, do. Wh where's this money coming from? Well, Tim, I'll tell you, you got a city councilwoman in St. Paul named Mitra Jalali who believes that there's enough wealth in America to accomplish this, which sounds to me like she just take it from people who have and give it to people who don't. Well, that's, that's the whole thing about, you know, that when, when I sit and I talk about Black Lives Matter and I talk about the local Black Lives Matter and I sit here and I say, I will, as long as they're doing good by me, I will support them. Now you got the, the national Black Lives Matter, the ones who are running around basically putting this type of stuff in people's heads. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's go into, let's go, if we, ra if we go in and we, we, we raid a store and we get TVs and we get everything we want, well, th those things should be ours. That, that's part of reparations. Don't you know that, Joe? You didn't realize yeah, I, I've, I've heard that. <laughs> I've heard that in Chicago. Huge. I've heard that. <laughs> you know, so uh, <laughs> that, th those, that, that's free stuff. It, it just, People like me who decide, who decide to go and work and bust our butt to get it, we, we miss that train. So mm -hmm. I, I don't get a pair of Jordans and I, I don't get, you know, a fifth of liquor and all this here type of stuff. But what I'm saying is this here, even if they gave, if they decided tomorrow, let's give every black person a million dollars. Right. Half of us will be broke by 1230. <laughs> well... And not just black people, Rev. That'd be me too. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I know. I no, no. I understand what you're saying. That'd be you too. But we just talk about me and my people right now. Okay. Because at the All end right. of the day, <laughs> at, at, the, at the end of the day, we 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 just don't have. You know, we have to go to classes to be able to take care of that much money. Don't you know we already got enough money in the black community in a lot of black communities that we could start things. Yes. We just can't get together to do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I keep making making that point. So you're gonna give you're gonna give everybody reparations and Cadillac gonna run out of cars, they gotta start making cars again. No man. We gotta we gotta do this right. And if they're gonna give out money, then they, they, they have to do it correctly. They have well, to Tim, find out where the money's coming from. Tim, you raise an interesting point. You just whimsically came up with the figure a million dollars, and I know exactly what you mean, but to show you the preposterous nature of this discussion is, how would you ever possibly arrive at a formula of how much? How could that ever possibly be done? It, it can't it be. Can. No. It can't. It, it's, that's what I'm saying. Right now, with everybody, any, anytime, anytime I'm in a discussion with people talking about reparations, they're sitting there going, well, let's just start with a million dollars. Let's start from there. But where are you going to get, I, I keep saying, where are you going to get the money? Are we just going to automatically throw dust in the air and, and all of a sudden this money is going to come down? And, and, and who is it going to hurt? And, mm -hmm. and who, actually, who, who gets this money? How do you, that's what I keep asking people. How do you really, 
I mean, do because my 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 brothers' daughters are Mexican. Do they get this money too? Mm-hmm. Oh, we talk about just straight black, like myself. I consider myself to be a straight black male. Mm-hmm. I do not. Um, you know what I mean. I know right. people probably take that and because you know we can't say things these days anymore. But right. do do we do do I like I said my kids now my my wife is Puerto Rican. Now, because she's Puerto Rican, or are we going to go with that that drop of blood in their, their veins so they get the money too? How do we tell, say, who gets this money? 